Hello everyone, welcome back to Retro Tech. Uh, I got a special treat today. A lot of people ask me, you know, how do you get so many electronics uh, for cheap? Or how do you find even PVMs locally? Because I rarely buy PVMs out of the area unless I really need one and then have it shipped to me unless it's a specific monitor. So most of the time I have to put out feelers. Uh, and this was a feeler I put out a few months ago. I had a friend of mine who has family that used to do video production back in the 90s and 80s. Uh, a small business, someone was running basically out of their house. And this family member passed away recently and all his stuff went through kind of uh, being passed down to the family and business associates. But in the massive uh, pass down of things, we've got, he, my friend called me and told me he's got four 20 inch Sony PVMs uh, waiting for him at his house. So he called me, didn't know what to do with them. I'm going to go over there and take a look at them, and we're going to pick them up. We're going to eventually service them all. But today I just want to show you that's how I'm getting a lot of this stuff, okay? It's, it's from putting out feelers with either individuals or because you never know who's going to end up eventually calling you back and telling you they got a great CRT for you. Uh, so today we're going to go look at that. I'm going to take you on the road. We're going to do some hunting that way. I'll show you the monitors when I get there. We'll see what they are. I have a feeling there might be something really good there uh, from what the guy was telling me on the phone. I'm really excited. Um, so let's do this. And then maybe in some other videos, I'll tell you other ways and other feelers I put out there, other kind of businesses that I talk to about getting this equipment. Let's go ahead and go on out there. I'm going to take everything on the road with me and if you have any questions or comments after this video, please leave them below and hit a like button if you like this, and we'll keep trying to do this stuff uh, in the future. But let's go ahead and just check it out. Well, hey guys, it's Steve back here. I'm actually on the site where uh, I'm going to look at these monitors, but I don't know if you can tell by looking at my window here. We've had some rain, unfortunately. So nothing worse, worse when you're going to pick up electronics than some rain. So I might have to hang out here for a while, but I just want to let you know I did get here safely and fine. And I'm going to go look at these PVMs. I talked to him on the phone a little bit more. It sounds like there's some nice ones again. Maybe um, at least one 20L5 and a couple other, like I said, four in total. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll go inside and get set up. I'll let you see some of the monitors as they sit now. And uh, we'll get them and see what they are. And we'll take them back to the shop. All right, so we just made it inside here. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look here at these bad boys. Oh my, we got at least one 2005, yes, and a couple others. All right, let's see what we got here. So, 2005, oh yes, mm, 2003. Oh, look at this one. It's a not as great 2002, but 2004 date, yes, and. What is this one? 1954 Q, solid. And then we got this poor guy. <laughs> 20 NU1, which is S video and composite. So, that little guy, he'll go with me, but probably useless. But anyway, we'll get these bad boys back to the shop, turned on, see how they look, man. Awesome. This is what I call a great score. I was hoping there'd be at least one 2005, and there is. Mm, look at that bad boy. Okay. Okay, obviously gonna need to do some pretty heavy duty cleaning. That's got some marker on there. Hopefully that'll come off. Because that, that one we need to be pretty good shape. Golly, Sharpie on the glass. Oh man. So, there you go. Definitely can use this one probably for parts. Maybe even the tube if you want to take it apart for another one. So, that's it. We'll take them back and load them now. I'll shoot a video show you how I've got them loaded in my Jeep. All right, guys. As you can see, the rain has finally stopped. I've got all four PVMs loaded. Right now, I've got this one. It's just this one just does S video, so it's probably going to be used for parts. Maybe I'll sell it at a uh, upcoming convention because it's not worth too much. But then I've got um, a 1954 Q in good shape. And let me pick up the camera. and We'll look around at the others. So there's those loaded and then this is the best one the 2005 loaded ready to go beautiful TV right there or monitor excuse me 
and then another uh, 20 L2. So great stuff. Again, let's get them back to the shop, set up, unloaded, and we'll start running some tests on these to see just how great they are. All right, everyone, we're back. The sun is shining, the rain has stopped. I've got the PVMs ready to unload. Uh, so I figured I'd just go ahead and set the camera up. Let's pop the trunk. And let's get these bad boys out of here. All right, so there we have it. We have un unloaded the PVMs. And that's this one, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, so we've gone through those. These are the other backstops I've got. You've seen some of these monitors before in the old videos. But just so you know, a couple of them do have some issues. This 14-inch, um, it's got something wrong with the one of the capacitors probably is failing on the deflection board. And it's causing um, some of the corner geometry troubles to basically not hold the geometry. So this one needs a cap job. And I'm also going to take it completely apart, clean it, and rebuild it, and then repaint it. And the same thing with this one down here. They both need the same love and attention. These other ones hopefully don't need all that, but we'll see. This one does not. This one's in really good shape. It's a 20L2, but just so you can see something, I want you to notice it's like a 20L2. So for example, 20L2 is right here that I'm sitting on. And then this is a 20L2. Same exact monitor, but this one does not have any pull tabs, which I've not seen. It's actually got nothing there, never had them. And this one does. And this one's obviously white and this one's gray. This one came from a medical facility, medical device attached to it. This one came from a production facility, video production. So that's what the difference is and why they look different. So even though they had different purposes and they're practically the same monitor, you can see how much different they look. Uh, they will do a lot of things like that. Uh, again, this one looks exactly the same as the other one you've seen. That's a 1954Q. And uh, so that's it. That's the stack. I'll show you. Come here so you can see the rest of the ones I've currently got. Um, there's the other 54Q that we've seen before. And let's see here. Uh, that's a flat Samsung monitor I got a while ago from an airport salvage job. I might show it someday so you can see that. There's another little old CRT Sharp Linitron. Uh, let's see down here. Oh, there's two more 8-inch PVMs. Uh, here's a 20, uh, 2030, and that one's got uh, some big issue. I think it's got either the hot or um, something on the power side. It's not one to stay powered on, so that one needs a lot of work. And uh, just haven't had time to get to it. Let's go over here and see some more over there. Those are just 14 inch monitors, those are really old and um, don't have the same look as they should. So I just, uh, they're in stock storage. And of course, we've got the 36 inch. And so the shop's getting pretty full now. Uh, but that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. I'm going to do a lot of, I've got a lot of work to do on these things. So uh, naturally, I'm going to videotape a lot of it and publish it. But for right now, I think that's going to be it for today. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see what's going on with the latest CRTs. I'm also going to do some more episodes like this where I talk about uh, ways you could go find them in your local area. As again, I don't want to pay for shipping. Shipping, uh, I do ship them because I know how to ship them. And it takes a lot of precise uh, thinking as well as planning to ship them properly. You can't under, you cannot um, basically have any, you can't make any mistakes. You can't afford to. You got to make sure you pack it to prepare for uh, a delivery person to drop it and hopefully survive. That's what you gotta kind of pack them for. So I'll go through um, how to get them, uh, some other places you can look, cause I've got other, other types of facilities that I go to try to hunt down PVMs, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like or um, share it, the content, if you think somebody will enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching Retro Tech. Have a great day.